All right guys, so we figure we might as well just show this logo off. Let's just start with this logo right there because we know you guys love seeing these awesome Chevy vans. So I'm gonna just go ahead and back away from this thing and show it to you. It is awesome. Take a look at this guys. So this is something a little bit different here and I wanna go over this build, show you guys what we had to do in order to get uh, these tires to fit on here. But let's talk about what we did to the front up here. So as we pop our head down in here, we're not gonna see a ton, but I'll let you guys know that we are running our three inch lift spindle on the front of this. And as you can see on here, we have a set of awesome general grabbers. So this is a 285, let's see if I can get all the way in on there. So a 285-60R18. So what's cool is about this is a couple different things I'm gonna say. Well first, we're not running method wheels. These are the XD wheels, so an XD wheel. Something a little different. We like showing you guys stuff that is different on these. Um, and this is a big wheel and tire package, I'm gonna say, for running a three inch lift spindle. So. I want you guys to be aware that if you are thinking about doing a three inch lift spindle, there is going to be some trimming involved in it if you want to run this big of a tire. So as we poke our head back here in the back part of the wheel well, you will see the fender right there. We have cut the fender back in order to give this a lot more clearance on there. And then on the front, you will also notice the same. We've probably taken about an inch and a half off the front of this and kind of tapered it in up to that front spot right there, trimming the plastic balance all the way away to give it room to turn. So if you're wanting to run a tire like this on a three inch spindle, know that this is something you're gonna have to do. And we'll kind of walk around this thing to the other, other side to show you kind of the same thing, how the fender is, or the bumper is cut right here on the front, and then as well the mini fender. So this one, or the, the small little mini fender. So this one also has the steps on it. So if you do have a step, keep in mind, I've on some of these, we've even had to come in here and kind of trim this corner because when you do turn, this thing does get really close to wanting to rub in the front of this. So we've talked about this as well. See if I can get all the way in there. And you can see here as well, this is something that I recommend cutting anytime going to a larger uh, wheel and tire. Um, and you can see this barely does rub right there, but um, that may be something that we trim later, but not right now. Just so just know, and if you wanna know how to trim that yourself, I'll throw up a video or a card in the corner that way you guys can see uh, how to do that. So let's go check out the back of this thing. We're gonna roll around this thing again. So in the back of this, no trimming necessary. You can see a ton of room in your wheel well still, all the way around your wheel well, no problem whatsoever. Pretty straightforward. And in the back of this, we're running a two inch block. So here's another thing guys, so um, typically on this we're running the Fox shocks front and rear, so that's kind of the end all be all to what is going on on this awesome van. This thing is looking killer. So if you are interested in just doing a spindle lift, here's what you could do. We'll come back and take a look at it. So guys, if you have any questions about this lift, how to do it, how to install it. Um, there's also a video on teach you guys how to install this kit as well. If you have any more questions, leave them below. I will be happy to answer them um, either in the comments or in the next video, but leave those questions and I hope you guys like this. Give it a big thumbs up. I will see you later.